Normally when I hop on an airplane after any vacation that's over like a day long, I'm normally pretty ready to go back home, but that's not the case with this. I'm kind of sad that I'm not going to see these guys again for another year. A couple of them I will see here and there, but a lot of them I won't. So with that said, here we go, heading back to sunny Southern California. And you guys know where to find us. We'll be back at the swap meets the next weekend, looking for these games, hunting in our hometown. So finally, the Portland Retro Gaming Expo is here once again. We had a blast last year and we couldn't wait to go this year. At this point, we've been in the car for quite a long time. We do have a 16 hour drive from Southern California to Portland, Oregon, but oh my God, it's worth it. It's time to go back. What are we, how, how far have we driven so far? 14? No, it's probably 11, 11, 12 hours. We still got about two, three to about go. About 12 hours. Two or three to go. It's been a long time. We're already in Oregon. We skipped most of the stuff in California because we drove through most of it at night. And it's a good thing we drove through here in the day. It's beautiful out here in Oregon. I've only been here like once before when I was a kid and I did not remember this many trees and it being this gorgeous. Should I get past the semi? So it seemed like forever on that 16 hour drive has passed and we are finally here and we can actually see the expo. Oh my God, we're excited. We're also very hungry and we're getting super tired of hearing our GPS. It's been telling us the whole way a million different wrong directions. Uh, it says exit 200 be right to I-5 to I-84. Uh, so stick over here where it says. What the freak, I hate that. GPS's, I love you and I hate you. Keep right. When the arrow says Keep go right. left. Woman. I think you can change your voices to like a Swedish guy. Really? Yeah. It's like PewDiePie giving you a mile. I heard you can change it to Homer on certain ones. That'd be kinda cool. And when you when you miss it it goes, no! Seriously? Yeah, seriously. That's okay. okay. And you get it right when you like, arrive at your destination. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Let's be real, this kind of works out. What would any NES pursuit be without us eating food before game hunting? Oh yeah. Thanks, Aaron. Oh. God. We got, we got almost two hours. Almost two hours. Do we have time? We have time. We're here. Finally, the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. We're as happy as can be. That was a long drive. It's supposed to be colder right now. I thought it was gonna be really cold because we're in Oregon, but uh, it's not bad. We're excited to meet up with everybody. Today's kind of a chill day before the event, and um, we're gonna eat some Red Robin. So, 
Rock on. Rock on. Oh, hello. So after our delicious meal at Red Robin, God, I love that place. We head over to the expo. Oh my gosh, finally, it is here. It has dawned upon us. And right when we walk in, and I mean right when we walk in, we're greeted with a ton of friends. This is awesome. Perfect timing. Oh, man, I'm great. How are you? I'm good, man. Good. Good. This is the legendary Ricky. What's up, Ring it. This is Layla, Layla, Ricky. Nice to meet you. Wow. Did you guys just get in? Uh, a little bit ago, brother. <laughs> this is just, just a perfect reaction. Not really a five-hour energy thing. <laughs> Within seconds of being here, we all already feel right at home. We're doing exactly what we wanted to do. We're in the expo a day early, and besides that, we're just all hanging out, surrounded by friends, and just seeing awesome arcades and what this expo is gonna bring the following day. So this is the area that they set up tomorrow with just tons of games from every system, every retro console, to slightly, I'd say maybe PS2 with all old school CRT TVs and old mini TVs. It's a really cool spot just to play. It's free play, it's free. Um, they haven't fully set up. You know, they have tons of arcades over there. And when this place is, it's gonna look a lot different tomorrow. It's weird to see a contrast of like what we're doing right now. We get to come in a day before and check everything out before the people get to come in. And uh, it's gonna be packed tomorrow, so it's gonna be cool. Get more stuff here. What are you looking at? I already have this, but it's such a great game. I still want to try Bonk's Revenge, but this is amazing. The little power-ups and everything you do, like when he goes on. <sighs> I'd say it's oh. one of the better, like, uh, a tag for Call of Duty. almost a mascot character. I mean, I know it was great. technically a mascot. Keith Courage was, I think, for TurboGrafx. You still gotta go around but, that way. Yeah. I know. I mean, this one right here? Turbo stuff. Oh. I was trying to resist oh. until tomorrow. Oh. Yes. This is what he's talking It's actually not a bad game. It's a great game. Real good game. There's this cool little power-up, but you kind of look like the Gun a Gundam character or something. Awesome game though. Doesn't get enough love. So I'm giving it love. <laughs> I've been wanting one of these to put my airs on. This one's only five bucks because it's missing the little turbo stick. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that too. So like we said, being in here a day early gives an extreme advantage to us, we won't lie. We're super thankful. We get to kind of dig through everything as we did last year before anybody else. So yeah, we're gonna find some awesome deals and Ricky already scored in that $5 turbo stick. Hey, look at so Ricky. it's even hotter now. Look at Ricky over there. Hey Ricky. Hi Ricky. Hi Ricky. Hi. Hi. Hey. Ay, ay, ay. You need someone under your other arm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> we're a taco on the meat. What? Hi Aaron. So last year we kind of started this whole little thing that kind of became known in the Retro Liberty community was the classic Ricky thing. And well, it's kind of funny because right when we get here, we all take a nap and we do something and Ricky pulls a classic Ricky move, but hey, good for him. He ended up on top. All right, so just a little heads up of what happened is we took a nap because it was a long 16 hour drive and we all went to bed, me, Adam, Ricky, Andy, and uh, woke up and classic Ricky has is real because we, I looked over, Ricky's gone, no sign of him, and I go figure he's here at the expo. And he, I haven't seen it, but he said he got a game. I only come here once a year, come on. What'd you get? Uh-oh. Any yes? Yeah, it's nothing big. Can I guess? Yeah. It's nothing too big, but it's pretty good? Yeah. What's like mildly uncommon? I'll say the other variant of Blades of Steel. Bucky O'Hare. Which, one of the best Konami platformers out there. Awesome. Fast paced, you guys all know about it. It's, it's, we talk about it's, it a lot. It's a great game, it's like the best. You can be four characters and it's fun. And I just want to look at games now because I haven't got to look. And then we're going to eat. And we might be seeing a special guest later who I've wanted to meet more than anybody in YouTube. Which Me. is weird because he doesn't do YouTube anymore. But I still want to meet him. So I think I know who you're talking about. You already told me. 
So we're still cruising around here and looking at cool games and cool booklets and plushies and a lot of random things and I haven't really bought anything yet because I'm kind of waiting till the third day, but we'll see what happens. There you go. You bought it for me? Yeah. How come? Three dollars. Why'd you buy it for me? Because you, you wanted it and it's three dollars and I love you. Close your eyes, make a I'm not kidding, you guys don't have smell of vision but wood always smells good. So do you. Actually. That's a good thing to know about someone. You know, it's, it's weird because when you watch a show, you can't tell what someone smells like. So they yeah. could smell like complete horse crap. I knew you were going to smell good though. You want to know the honest truth? I've heard that Brad Pitt, like legitimately from like millions of magazines from my wife's head, most people say he smells terrible. Really? Yeah. Um, people say I look like Brad Pitt. Brad more Pitt. like the other guy. More like Brad Shh. Huh? Yeah. Look at all. This is like bundle of joy already. Thank you. That's okay. What? I'm not gonna be on a Retro Liberty video. <laughs> Last time you were on it, it was, uh, you sound like a big black woman. <laughs> Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! You're an old black lady? You've changed a lot in one year. <laughs> So when you go to conventions or expos, it's really hard not to buy everything you want because pretty much anything in your want list, you're gonna find here. It just depends if you wanna put out the money for it or not. So in my last video, I said that Blaster Master Complete Box is the one I need in my collection still that I want most. One that for some reason I don't have complete in box that I would actually love to have complete would be Blaster Master. It's one of my favorite Nintendo games, um, a Sunsoft game with an amazing soundtrack. I just love everything about the game, the sense of exploring and all that, and I've just never seemed to find it out there. I think I've seen it once at a swap meet, but it was for like 25, 30 bucks, and I know some of you might say I'm being cheap, but I don't really like to pay more than like 5, 10 bucks for anything game hunting. It's 35, which is a good deal by them. It's just I don't want to spend. You know, guys, no, 35 bucks. It ain't for me. But I think this guy's gonna pick it up right now. So it's kind of, uh, it's kind of hard to watch. Maybe I can swindle him for a cheaper price. I totally. Birch price. Didn't you want a jaguar? You need a jaguar. No, I don't. No, you do. No, I don't. You need a jaguar in your game journals. Maybe I do. <laughs> Wait, I think I do. So right after this, something happens that I didn't expect at all. And it still, to this day, is something that means a lot to me, and I really appreciate it. No, you're a friend of Tyler's and, you know, Terry's. Can so. I give you my 24? No, 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 it's seriously, you. don't. Because then it defeats the purpose, dude. Keep doing your show. My girlfriend, every time when I'm like, doing my I'm like watching your video in the middle of the night. Did you know that literally before you just did this, we just filmed a piece of me saying, I'm like, I want this in my collection. This guy's gonna get all cool. I'm like, I was gonna say if I could buy it off you later, and now he's doing this. No, man, totally. But keep doing your oh. show. Oh, I'm good. Oh. Dude, you guys are awesome. I totally. I thank you. I yeah. know. And you're a friend of that guy, so that's why. Yeah. Thank you, though, yeah. really. Like, no, for real. Totally. Like I said in my last video, this is the most wanted in my collection. I don't like turbo graphics. Yeah, yeah. I don't like turbo graphics. Yeah, I'm really stoked on this. Like, it's like really hard to like take it and not feel bad. I know you have one. Because I know he just bought this. I know he wanted it too. You don't have it anymore. So it means a lot. It really does. So thank you to him. And everybody who does this. You guys are crazy for wanting to do this for us. But thank you for real. So day one of the expo, which technically isn't even day one, it's the pre-day, was fantastic. We went to our hotel rooms that night to sleep. We couldn't stop talking about how thankful we were and how grateful we were for the community and the people we already met and just hanging out with friends. We are stoked, but you guys, that is not it. We have another episode coming. This is just the beginning, so stay tuned. Next time on the NES Pursuit. If you want to see the best toilet paper video on the internet, I'll leave a link to it. That's how dedicated I am to this toilet paper video. Premier toilet paper videos. That's why I specialize. All right, bye bye.